In this video, I will tell you why Pepe is going to be the next Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. I will go through all the bullish updates for Pepe that are happening currently and I will persuade you why this is true. And I actually have an interesting theory I would like to share on the fact of where the funds are going to be transferred next and what is usually happening after the alt season. Welcome back. So I have several updates about Pepe and obviously Boba situation because they are interconnected. That is something I wanted to share, but we would probably be mostly focusing on Pepe in this video. And it's very, very important thing that you need to understand that memes, they are starting to move closer to the end of the local cycle. The main reason for that is because people are making funds on the alts and then they are looking to play with their profits. And some people, they might think they have too much profits or it's kind of not comfortable for them to have this much money. So they're trying to put things into the meme coins. Why I think that Ethereum meme coins are going to run this time instead of Solana meme coins. The main reason for that is because we are expecting Ethereum ETF to be approved or either declined on May 22nd or May 23rd. I don't remember the exact date. I think there are a lot of things that are going to happen around ETH. And the great thing about meme coins is that they are often performing when the market is going down. I'm more on the short term burst sides. Maybe I'm watching too much burst, right? I do expect us to have this all season two to three weeks. Then I would be planning to take profits on at least 10 to 20% of my portfolio because I also have a bunch of stable coins that are not deployed at this stage. And then I might be waiting for a dip. I don't buy this narrative that we are just going up without corrections and things like that. We will see. I do think that we might be entering a dip for a month or two because I don't think that we should be just going up. But at the same time, I'm quite well positioned in the market. Only trades that I have opened are long, so I don't have any shorts. I will probably not plan to short the market at this stage and essentially this year as well. But there are certain signals that happen here and there. So I'm kind of cautious and maybe it's bear market PTSD and maybe it's not right. And maybe I will not make the amount of money that I would have made if I would just be more confident and more convinced in the market and in what is happening. It's just how I like to play it. And my kind of protection from the market surging up is the fact that mostly I'm sitting in a very, very decent place. I have $40,000 invested in Boba which is basically a picture of the bear. Who are you listening to? This is your ultimate financial advisor, right? I'm not a financial advisor, obviously, but it's, it's quite funny. It's quite funny by itself. Some things about Pepe. Pepe essentially appeared on the market around a year ago. I think it was around April or May. And it was basically an ETH meme of essentially this famous frog, the Pepe the Frog, which is essentially on the web for 20 plus years already, right? And it surged very, very nicely. And it was like a bear market, uh, as people say, but probably for, from January of 2023, we're in the bull market because BTC just growing from 16K, right? But still, like no one was investing much into crypto. And essentially, Pepe went up heavily. It reached 1 billion, 1 billion plus market cap, which, which is basically crazy for Ethereum meme coin. And the main thing is that 1 million market cap for Pepe is way larger and way more liquidity than 1 million in market cap for things like Bonk. Something very, very interesting I want you to understand and I want you to see as well. So on Dex tools, I basically opened Pepe and here it's 12.5 million liquidity, right? It's only on Dex tools. So it's not talking about the liquidity they have on Binance and on other exchanges as well. And with 12.5 million liquidity, they have half a billion market cap at this stage, right? Let's open Bonk. What do we see with Bonk? Basically, see the liquidity is 4 million. It's three times less than Pepe. At the same time, the market cap is 1.3 billion. So liquidity is three times lower. Therefore, the market cap is two, 2.5 times larger than Pepe. If Bonk would have the liquidity of Pepe, it would essentially be at 4 billion market cap. Do you understand what is happening? What's interesting about these things? The main issue for early investors with things like that is that if you would be putting a significant amount of money in bonk and then you would basically be getting like a bunch of access, you won't be able to liquidate your funds because you would just dump the whole price of the token because liquidity is not there. Usually it means that some of the tokens they're essentially taken by the founders of the project and they have them so they're not in the circulating supply of the market. In Pepe case, obviously all the liquidity is on the market between different players, between different holders of the token. That's why essentially 
I like the situation paper way more from the liquidity point of view. And yeah, and as far as you can understand, it's going to need way more money, way more funds for Pepe essentially to 2x because you basically need to add 12 million on top. And if you would be adding 12 million on top of bank, it would essentially be around like 5 billion market cap and everyone would be screaming 5 billion market cap where is Pepe things like that but it would basically just have kind of similar liquidity to Pepe so very very interesting what is happening on the market there bullish news I wanted to share about Pepe is that Pepe was essentially added to Robinhood right an interesting thing about Pepe and Robinhood is because People are kind of sending this message about Pep and Robinhood that Robinhood has listed 30 coins, 29 of them have hit 5 billion, most 10 billion, one of them hasn't yet, Pepe. So it's great that essentially the token is getting more exposure into the hands of every joint, to the hands of people that are not very familiar like with DEX tools, with crypto wallets and things like that. It's obviously the best because it makes it very, very easy to fire up. You just need to ignite and then it just fires up like crazy and essentially becomes this huge, huge fire that could not be stopped where people are taking profits, but it's still surging up and then they feel bad because they took profits. I actually forgot to mention that this video is going to be packed with insights, as usual. According to rumors, Coinbase is bullish on listing Pepe. That's something very, very interesting as well. And because if you were following the space, as I was essentially from the summer of last year, there was a huge buzz in the market. Why Coinbase is not listing Pepe? And Coinbase, they essentially listed Bank, right? And they're not listing Pepe. And we had like, I think, $250 million in volumes for Pepe yesterday. And you need to understand that the only thing that these exchanges care about is volumes because they're making money from volumes at least they say so at least they tell you that they're not making money from liquidations right volumes is what very very important for them when they see the volume then they essentially would want to list the token and coinbase we can get this token into the hands of hard-working american who would be able to buy this frog coin and essentially just seed pump in the same way he was buying dogecoin in the last cycle I think it's very, very interesting and very, very bullish. And we also kind of remove this narrative of Pepe being Ethereum token with commissions and things like that, because if people are buying Pepe on Robinhood and Coinbase, they will probably not be transferring it anywhere. And you don't have any commissions on Robinhood and on Coinbase as well, at least not the commissions that you have in Ethereum blockchain, in Ethereum network. So it's definitely bullish for Pepe as well. If there were ever a time for Coinbase to list Pepe, that time would be now. Very interesting as well. The main reason for that is because it has crazy volumes. And as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, usually memes are starting to run closer to the end of the local all season, on the local cycle, right? The same thing will probably happen to Pepe. So once you see Pepe surging, it's going to be a great sign for you to start to take profits on your positions and on your altcoins. Because all the digits in the market, once Pepe would start surging, they would be looking to take profits on the positions and put this money into Pepe. This is like a weird wheel that would essentially start spinning and everyone would be looking to do that. So that might be a very, very great and interesting thing to basically do. We had recent pump, basically just today, just the day that I'm recording this video, night time, my time. We had a pump from 0 01 to 0 012, 0 013, which is quite quite extensive. It's like how many? 30% in one day? They're just crazy. And two, two days ago, it was 0, 0, 0.09, 0, 0.09, and maybe even 0, 0.08 at the lows. And right now it was at 0, 0.13 at the highest. Crazy. So it's almost, it's like 50, 60% in several days. It was from 6th of February. And people are taking profits right now, but I do think, I do think that we essentially will do very, very well in the coming several months on Pepe. I don't have any Pepe, despite the fact that we're still in that would want to put at least $70,000 around 200, 300 million market cap. And we basically were at this market cap, but I didn't do that. That's a shame. And now in this part of the video, we are coming to the insights that I essentially have on Pepe. Now I will be translating some things from Russian for you. It's essentially exclusive content that you can only find on this channel. Stan translating from Russian for you. Insights about Pepe, right? 
<laughs> and most likely all of these insights they are translated from English in the first place. I just was not, not able to find the English version. Here is some info on Bobo in connection to Pepe as well. I don't think Bobo needs Pepe to go up. Yeah, but DJ Harambe is the death of Pepe, I believe. And since his friends with Wrecked and DJ Harambe is bullish on Bobo and helped pump into 30 million in the first big run, that means we can help Wrecked get Bobo listed on Coinbase, Binance, Robinhood, and all the big connections to make it into a big market making volume profit in coin. So Pepe can pave the way and make the process for Bobo easier, since Bobo Dev is friends with Pepe Dev. And Pepe Dev is bullish on Bobo and help pump it. You want Pepe to open the doors for Bobo. Pepe has Binance on its side and these huge market makers that can help Bobo too. So I would say this quite optimistic at this stage. And seeing Bobo on Robinhood and Coinbase, yeah, it's just, it just, it's probably something from different channel of reality, you know? And Bobo on Coinbase and on Robinhood, yeah, it's just, it's going to be crazy. It's definitely going to be like billion dollar play and it will be just pumped like crazy. I cannot say it won't happen 100% in the full bull, but definitely not in the, in the upcoming six months. Most likely, if it will happen, it will happen closer to the end of this year, maybe the next one, depending on the all the craziness that essentially crypto would get. And some insights about Pepe that I also wanted to share. And you see these Russians talking about Pepe, right? But they don't know about Bobo. This is the advantage that you have. He's basically saying here that Pepe was included into Robinhood app. And it's the only one meme coin that is in Robinhood app, despite Doge and Ship. Uh, there was also a listing on Bitstamp exchange as well. And Pepe volumes, they basically reached 200 million that day. So this post is from several days ago, right? And these volumes, they were basically larger than volumes on Shiba and Bonk as well. And he's quite bullish on Pepe too, because we still have this Ethereum ETF going on, this narrative. And we have unlocks or things like Aging, Swell and Blast that should also influence how things are being traded in Ethereum and should also unlock liquidity. It will probably go into meme coins. That will probably go into Pepe. Here is another bullish piece of news that Coinbase just updated uh, their application and they added a part about Pepe. So they basically added a description about Pepe inside the application of Coinbase, which is very, very interesting because essentially there is no smoke without fire. Right. And that's something that Binance is doing when, when they're trying to list in something. And I think it's essentially one of the tools that they're using in order to assess whether or not uh, they should be listing certain token. Because if this piece of news essentially creates like huge, you know, huge bomb, huge form and things like that, then the, the token is definitely worth listing. If something like this appears and no one cares, then probably it's not the best time to, to list the token as well. So I think that's something they actually might be doing as a piece of the process to assess if they should be essentially listing the token or not. Uh, here the guy is basically saying that it, it's, it's scary for him to imagine what if Pepe would essentially repeat Dodge. And he sees a very, very interesting similarities in the structure before the pump of Dodge. And he's also showing that Dodge in the December of 2020 was 600 million market cap, exactly the market cap of Pepe right now. And he's basically saying his subscribers not to be very serious about this post as well. But you can definitely see this formation and essentially these formations are very, very similar to what happened uh, to Dodge in 2020. And I was actually making a video on Pepe around two months ago, I believe. I was also sharing the similarities in the structure on the chart with these two things. Last but not at least the guy is basically bullish on Pepe. He's saying that in theory it may go down. He's saying something about waves as well, but it can also go up. So very interesting analytics. You know, it's either going down or it's either going up, right? He's actually looking to loan Pepe, but he's a bit bearish that altcoins they're not pumping as hard as he was predicting. But it's an older post, so maybe essentially not so relevant at this stage. So you see that Russians, they're essentially bullish on Pepe. It's very, very interesting. But as mentioned, advantage that you might have is that they don't know about Bobo. I also want to tell you to be cautious. It's kind of interesting. I don't want to take responsibility for you in order to just tell you like, bye, 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 because I don't want to have these negative comments after that, you know, like you should this token. I am a negative and things like that. But I would probably want to tell you to buy. If not Pepe, then just buy Bobo. I think in a year from now, it's going to be very, very good 
very, very good decision. And even if we would see dips, I would essentially, this time I would already buy in the dips because I wanted to put like 70K, 35K in this dip. And I was kind of told not to by some people I follow, people I know. And obviously it's my decision and it's my responsibility in the first place. But if I would just put like 10, 15K, they would do like five seven x from the lows and yeah it's 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 quite it it hurts a bit it hurts a bit because i had this conviction to the token and obviously i didn't do that so essentially it's up to you and i just wanted to share these updates about what's coming and what's happening i think it's definitely going to be very very bullish time for pepe i think you still have some time because people are still waiting for this all season to unleash but once everyone would have so much profits they would not know what to do with they would be throwing these profits into meme coins that's something that's going to happen and coinbase listing and all the things yeah it's just just crazy what can happen so anyway I just wanted to share this information with you, share what's going on with these tokens. You can tell that I'm shilling and things like that, but yeah, I just think it's a great, it's a great choice. No one is talking, like you, you don't hear large influencers talking about these tokens. And when large influencers will start talking about Pepe, you might also start thinking about essentially taking profits. And one of the reasons of why I'm talking about these like smaller caps projects is because the audience of the channel is quite low. With larger audience, you basically have larger responsibility as well. So you, you cannot talk about like 7 million market cap meme coins if you have like 100 thousand followers, right? But it, since I have so small amount of followers and the videos, they're not getting large reach as well. That's why I'm essentially talking about these things. And that, that's why I'm, I'm essentially following quite a few small channels because a lot of alpha essentially, it's usually about and around small channels as well. One of the reasons, it's quite interesting because you know, in order to become big channels, what you have to do is to cover big tokens, something that's pumping, something that's something that has a large audience right away, right? And if you are covering something that has pumped already, that means that it definitely has a low upside in comparison to something small, all right? And you're kind of forced to cover these larger things because you don't want your views to go down and understand what is your upside. If you're watching a video on YouTube that was watched by 40,000 people, 60,000 people, 100,000 people, what is your upside? So many people has the same quality information than you. And if you're watching video that gets 300 views, 600 views, 2,000 views, your upside is way, way, way better as well this is just a food for thought that i wanted to to provide you with thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next one Bye bye